You will have an appointment with a pain doctor, a specialist like me. You waited a long time for this appointment and now you are getting anxious as you have so many things to say about your pain. Where do you start telling your story? Uh, how do you explain your pain and how it affects you? You want to make the best of this appointment, get your questions answered, get a proper diagnosis and an individualized uh, treatment plan for you. But you wonder, which questions the doctor will ask me? How do I give an accurate response so I can help the doctor to help me? In this video, I'll tell you exactly what questions I ask all of my patients with chronic pain and how you can get prepared for this appointment. So let's talk about talking about your pain today. I use this Socrates method to get the information I need about pain. S is for sight, where does it hurt? O is for the onset, what were you doing when the pain started? C is for characteristics, how does the pain feel like? R is for radiation, does it go anywhere else? A is for associated symptoms. T is for time, when did it start? E is for exacerbating, what makes it worse or better? And S is for severity or pain intensity. The Socrates method is one of the methods that I use to teach medical students how to ask questions about a patient's pain. The order of the questions does not really matter, but it is important that we cover all aspects when we are taking a pain history. An appointment with a pain doctor may take between one to one and a half hours, but we want to use this time wisely. We need to get a lot of information, not just about the pain, but also about um, the medications, other medical conditions, family history, psychological status, habits, work and relationships. We also need to do a thorough physical examination and we need to save time at the end for me to explain things to you and what we are going to do, what the next steps will be. So although 90 minutes may seem a long time, we have a packed agenda. Before I continue, let me remind you that this video is not intended to replace medical advice. It is for educational purposes only. If you need medical advice, contact your doctor. In case of emergency, go to the nearest emergency department or call 911. The pain site. I am a pain doctor and I treat chronic pain. Chronic pain is pain that persists for more than six months. I need to know the localization of your chronic pain. So I will give you a pain diagram like this and I'll ask you to mark all areas that you have pain on a regular basis. I want to know which is the number one painful spot, the one that bothers you most. Put number one on that pain. If you have other sites of pain, mark all of them. You may use different shades, different symbols or colors. You may create legends for all the symbols and colors and that will be very helpful. Do not write text on the body diagram. I need to see clearly the borders of the body diagram to get a sense of the pain area. Oh, the onset of pain. I need to know what were you doing when this pain started? Was it associated with an injury, an accident, another disease or a treatment for another condition? Did it start abruptly or slowly? Characteristics. The quality of the pain is very important to me. I'll ask you, how does the pain feel like? Or can you describe how you feel this pain? The answer to this question may give us hints if the pain is inflammatory, neuropathic or myofascial. Here are some examples of words that you can use to describe your pain hot, burning, electrical shocks, ice cold, tiring, heavy, diffuse, throbbing, numbing. Well, radiation. Does the pain radiate somewhere? 
For example, neck pain that radiates to the arm or buttock pain that radiates to the back of the thigh. Sometimes also headaches are caused by neck pain and you may notice that the pain starts in the neck. Associated symptoms. It is important to know if uh, when there is pain, there are also other symptoms like nausea, fever, dizziness, muscle paralysis, joint stiffness, muscle cramps, incontinence of uh, bladder or bowels. These are all important symptoms that suggest a specific cause or more urgent problems. Time. How long have you had this pain? Here are, we are also interested in knowing the pattern of this pain. Is it constant or intermittent? Is there a time of the day that the pain is worse? Pain that is worse when you wake up suggests an inflammatory arthritis. Pain that is worse after a day of work suggests a muscle strain and myofascial trigger points. Pain that is worse at night and better during the day may suggest bone diseases, could be bone metastasis. What about exacerbating factors? What makes the pain worse and better? Does movement make it worse or better? How about anxiety, frustration, and sadness? Uh, do you take painkillers? Do they help? How much is the pain improved with the painkillers? Does it get better with heat? How about an ice pack? Does ice make better or worse? If the pain gets better with ice, it's likely inflammation, but if it is worse with ice, then it's likely neuropathic pain. If the pain gets better with NSAIDs, then it suggests an inflammation. If it gets better with antidepressant medications, then it suggests neuropathic pain. All pains get better when the person is distracted, but if the pain goes away completely when you are distracted, it suggests nociplastic pain. I explain what nociplastic pain in another video that I made. It's called chronic pain. It's basically when the body's alarm system is malfunctioning. For example, the pain is a false alarm or the alarm volume is turned up or there is a short circuit in the alarm system. I put in the description of this video a link for you to access that video. Severity. I'll ask you to give me a number from 0 to 10, where 0 is no pain and 10 is the most horrible pain that someone can imagine. I'll ask you to give me a number for the pain right now, the highest in the past 7 days, the lowest in the past 7 days, and the average in the past 7 days. Patients tell me that it's hard to assign a number because pain is more complex than just a number, but this is really important. It is important first because we need to know if there is ever a time that your pain is zero. That would be very helpful because if there is a chance that your pain can get to zero, then it's easier to come up with a treatment plan. Then we need to know how your pain severity scores before we start taking any treatment as I want to compare your pain severity scores after you try the treatments that I will suggest to you and the only way for us to know if the treatment has worked is to compare you with yourself before and after these treatments. So remember these topics next time you are talking to your doctor about pain. They will likely ask these questions and it is better when you are prepared to answer them. You may take notes before your appointment and um, start paying attention to those topics that I talked about that I mentioned. If you want, you may download a document containing these questions to work at home. Check the description of this video below to download uh, this document. If you like this video, press the thumbs up button here it's really important and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications so you can be alerted when i post new videos here and watch my next video here thank you for watching today goodbye